Welcome to the August edition of Hayes Headlines. My name is Melissa Dixon. I'm the Executive Director at the Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I'm Sarah Bloom with Downtown Hayes Development Corporation. And I am Tammy Welbrock with the Hayes Area Chamber of Commerce. So at the CBB, we reside in the Welcome Center at 27th and Vine. And this summer we welcomed so many guests. We even opened on the weekend to welcome these visitors coming in and out, helping them figure out where to go. Late into the weekday. Yes, mm -hmm. from all over the country. We were playing the license plate game uh, on I-70, <laughs> all the people that were coming through Hayes. But I'm really excited about who we're gonna welcome this month. It's all of our students back to town. I'm so excited. We've got our gold on just for that occasion. That's right. Welcome back Fort Hayes students. TGOF. But yeah, T -G -O -F. yes, and <laughs> and you know certainly there's going to be a lot of energy just with that quick swell of of uh, population because of the Fort Hayes students. But you know whether they're new teachers in our K through 12 public and private schools countywide, we're welcoming a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Now you have a special event. We do, to welcome you know, and those. and certainly tis the season. Yep. We, Tell me about this. Well, you know, and there's just. And I'm sure we're not alone with the events. I mean, there's a lot of in services, a lot of training, but the chamber is going to do our 30th year of the education appreciation, and that will be held on Thursday, August 23rd. We normally waited till after Labor Day, and then we'd get in involved in the the sporting events and start mm -hmm. conflicting with schedules. So we moved it up to Thursday, August 23rd, and we're working with the area schools. K through 12 and all higher ed, um, both private, public, and um, countywide. And so we usually see about 200 people at this event wow. where we welcome, we uh, welcome and introduce the new employees, uh, the new faculty to the different schools. And then we also just, we wanna show our appreciation to those that are doing so much for our youth and for our quality of life. And certainly, if the chamber is to be about economic development then or economic impact, what better impact than back to school time and shopping local, so. <laughs> but that's that's an event that's coming up with us, but then just right around the corner is. Yeah, you guys kind of welcome the faculty and staff and then downtown Hayes and the CBB get to welcome all the students. Now, of course, faculty and staff are welcome too, but we have our annual event uh, March to Maine, formerly Corda Campus. This is only the second year is March to Maine, so I like to throw that out there still. But we literally march six to 800 students from campus to downtown Hayes and let them explore and eat and win prizes and cash and just have a good old time. Yeah, we talk about, we wanna show them how close they are to all this shopping and all these awesome local restaurants. Um, they can almost see downtown from campus if they get up on a high enough floor um, <laughs> from their residence hall. So we actually walk them and say, look how close it is and look how happy all these retailers are to see you and these restaurants. Um, that's an important group to our local economy. Those freshmen, those are your some of your future customers. Well, and the key to that, I know some of the history in, in just creating that event was mm -hmm. not just to introduce them to the, the quality of life aspects, whether it's shopping or entertainment, but to truly make them feel a part of this community. Yes. That my understanding that there was some surveys done and a lot of the students didn't feel connected or feel welcomed. And certainly we we don't want them just for the four years they're here. We want them to be, well, we want them definitely for four years, but definitely beyond that, a workforce that certainly can stay. Mm -hmm. And what do students love more than free food? I don't know, so we give them free food. <laughs> oh, well, and free laptops and iPods and iPads and GoPros and Keurigs. We've got a whole bunch of stuff lined There's up for this year. We're very excited. giveaways. So that happens on Tuesday, August 28th from 6 to 8 p.m. And that's a little different from years past. It's typically been on a Thursday. It will be on a Tuesday this year because we've got our first home football game on the Thursday it would normally be on. Um, but the really exciting part about that event too is it's not just Fort Hayes. We want to emphasize it is for all higher education. So that's NCK, that's Hayes Academy of Hair Design, and then of course Fort Hayes State University as well. Okay. The commissioners are involved, the mayor's involved, um, our city administrators are involved. It's, it's a big deal. We want them to see that they're welcome not only by the business community but by the administration as well, the police departments, the fire departments giving them that first contact in a positive manner um, in case something else happens down the line. So it is, it's a really, really important event to our community. We've got a live band that plays down there. 
We'll be able to utilize the new pavilion that was built by students from two of those organizations. So it's going to be even bigger and better this year than it has been in past. But And awesome. when does it all kind of... You definitely can tell that there's a date that it's triggered. We okay. call it move-in date, but... Yep. I think it's move-in weekend. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Be ready for some excitement and a little extra traffic August 15th through the 17th. So, so don't go to Walmart <laughs> that weekend. Just plan ahead. Or stand stuff. outside and, and help the greeters welcome all of these guests into oh, our community. Sure. What did you call it earlier? Look both ways on the one ways? Yes. yes. <laughs> Look both ways on the one way season. Yes. Um, it's certainly, there's there's a lot of new guests in our community and they're learning to, and you know, we, we, we certainly forget that Hayes can be to some of our um, new residents a pretty big town and I know when I came here one of the thing I was most nervous about were those darn one-way streets because I didn't <laughs> grow up with that in my small western Kansas town growing up so I've been here since 2002 and I still get them wrong sometimes don't <laughs> watch this point. chief traveler <laughs> <laughs> or don't watch you in your car yes driving, or that so. yes but, well, we certainly have lots more to share in a few more minutes. And you know what's, it, there's some exciting things, but certainly these two young ladies are going to have a special guest that's joining us at our next segment. So please stay tuned. Some mobile phone providers think they can just take, take, take. They'll all take an arm and a leg for a new phone. And look out if you go over your data limit. I didn't see that coming. Unlimited data plans as low as $20 per line. Come into any of our stores for a free, upfront, and honest consultation about your data and wireless needs. Next Tech Wireless, the carrier you trust. Your home's exterior is the best defense against harsh weather conditions. With insulated vinyl siding, energy efficient windows, spray foam insulation, and metal roofing from AquaShield Roofing and Construction, you can protect your home from howling winds and ice cold temperatures. Don't let Mother Nature interfere with the comfort of your home. Call or visit us online today for a free estimate. AquaShield Roofing and Construction. Our team is dedicated to your complete satisfaction. Hey, Next Tech customers, would you like a chance to win free service on your Next Tech bill? Well, here's your chance. On the first and third Sunday of every month, tune in to Next Tech Local 1 at 6 p.m. and play along with Next Tech Sunday Fun Day Bingo. If you miss an episode, don't worry about it. It'll replay every night at 6 p.m. Use your cards included with your Next Tech bill or print your own at nexttech.com slash bingo. Next Tech Sunday Fun Day Bingo is brought to you by these awesome sponsors. Welcome back to the August edition of Hayes Headlines. I am Sarah Bloom with Downtown Hayes, joined by Melissa Dixon of the Hayes Convention and Visitors Bureau. And we have a special guest today. Kathy Drabkin joins us from the Hayes Symphony Orchestra. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. We're so excited. We talk about your events all the time, so it's great, oh, great. to finally have you on. Thank you. Melissa's got lots of questions for you. Oh, I do. Okay, <laughs> uh, shoot. We, we have such a challenge in our community with awareness of mm. so many things that people might not know. We have a downtown farmer's market. People right. might not know. We have a symphony. Yes. A lot of people still don't know. Yes. Um, but we, we have seen massive amounts of advertising the past uh, two or three years. So that's right. a, a been a fabulous um, effort on your part and your team's part. Um, but what can you tell us about the symphony people might not know? Well, the symphony is one of the oldest in the state. We were established in 1914, and we're a, a uniquely collaborative group. So we are a mix of university and community people. We have in our ranks uh, Fort Hayes students, staff, faculty, music teachers, community members, talented high school students, uh, and it's sort of just a, a really tight-knit group. Um, we play five to seven concerts a year, usually at Beach Schmidt, uh, but sometimes out in the community. Uh, we've got some special concerts coming up for our season this year. Now, there's the Hayes Symphony Orchestra mm -hmm. and there's the Hayes Symphony Guild. And sometimes mm -hmm. people think they're the same, but they are a little bit different. So you might explain that too, because I know I've heard both sure. in the community. The, the Guild is a support organization for the symphony, provides financial and volunteer resources so that the symphony can then focus on bringing music to our community. So. Sure, and the Guild has a board of directors where the symphony does not. Right, the symphony is, is primarily um, 
sort of led through the university. Our conductor is on staff uh, as a faculty member with the music department. Very good. And how long has he been conducting? He's, this is his, will be his fourth year. Great. Yeah. Very good. So yeah. who picks out the music? Who decides what the season looks like? How does that work? That comes from our music director, Shaw Satikov, who's the conductor. So he, with sometimes some input from uh, orchestra players, uh, chooses the the theme for the, the year. So this year's is symphonic expeditions. We'll be doing lots of symphonies and very rich, lush music. Uh, and then he, pulling in people, guest artists from around the state and from around the world, develops uh, five to seven different concerts, uh, focusing on different aspects of playing. Very good. So tell us more about this season. Okay, so this season we have five Masterworks concerts where we'll be doing symphonies, we'll be playing with um, the Fort Hayes choirs. Uh, we have two um, chamber music festivals, so smaller groups. We have one children's concert uh, right around Halloween time, and then we have a preseason pops concert da downtown at the mall. Okay, well, I keep talking, you talk a little I have a question about uh, yeah. the model. Now before, uh, maybe a year or two ago, there were some reasonably priced tickets to get you in uh, to a performance, right. but all of a sudden they were free. Right. Can you tell us what happened and, and what have you seen well, different? You know, um, you put what you, you get out what you put in, and after, uh, for a while we had not done a lot of publicity, uh, and uh, for a while we had very low numbers in attendance, 100, 150, uh, and so uh, three years ago we decided let's just throw a free concert. Uh, it was the first concert that uh, our director, new director, had uh, come to conduct. And uh, we had great turnout. And we were like, whoa, this is an obvious uh, answer. And so we started offering free concerts and then doing massive publicity. Uh, and that's been just the, the perfect uh, model for us. And so you call on community members, uh, organizations, to cover that cost, is that right? Right, so individual donors, corporations, businesses uh, who give through the guild uh, to help sponsor us. Yes, That's a great model. And I the CCB it. gets to sponsor one of those receptions because after every free concert, there's also a free reception. So we every show right. has a every reception. Yes. 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 yes, and you're one of those sponsors. We'll sponsor the holiday this year. I've got the year. grand finale. Don't worry. <laughs> Um, so tell us, you, you mentioned community members, you mentioned Fort Hayes students, how do people get involved if they want to play? Do they have to be a certain skill level? Well, you know, it helps um, sure. because the music is challenging. Um, so usually if an, uh, let's say a community member is interested, they'll contact the conductor and just say, I've been playing the violin for this number of years and these are the kinds of uh, ensembles I've been involved in and are you interested? And we usually say, yes, yes, please, <laughs> especially for those string players. Yeah. 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 I play the cello in the symphony, which we've talked about on the show before. I had not played in about 15 years, um, but I had been secretary of the guild board, not secretary, mm -hmm. treasurer of the guild board for two, right. and I was finally talked into playing, and it is very challenging, but it has brought so much joy. Mm -hmm. I really, I didn't realize how much I missed it until I was back in it. And there are a couple pieces where I will admit that I am faking it. Um, but <laughs> I it, couldn't it's tell. It's so fun, it's so fun. And you talk yeah. about this season and, and how it's full and vibrant and I'm thinking, oh no. But no it'll, it, it's great. Um, one way that people can get involved is your brand new website. Right, so uh, we're gonna be kicking off a website for August and uh, on that website you can find all the concerts listed. You can reserve tickets uh, in advance. So even though the tickets are free, we'd like you to actually come and hand us one so we can have a good head count. Uh, you can find out about the artists that are coming in, the soloists, guest conductors, the music. So it becomes sort of a one-stop place for you to get plenty of information. Yep. History, partners, sponsors, right. you name it. If you wanna volunteer, maybe you don't play an instrument but you still wanna get involved in the symphony, we are always looking for volunteers Absolutely. to help with publicity and reaching out into the community. That website is heysymphony.org. Yep, very good. And Anything if, else? If you think the symphony doesn't sound kid friendly, that Halloween show for kids was phenomenal. It was mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. interactive. Yep. People were running up and down the aisles, thing, they were throwing balloons. It was so fun. So. Yes. And that, yeah. that is our biggest concert of the year. Right. We typically have over 800 people yes. uh, at that, including the kids, of course. Highly recommended. Um, and we have our, our special uh, not choreographer, 
uh, well, we have a, a playwright that we hired to um, write a, a script for the Firebird. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a choreographer, we have a director, we have a costume designer. It's a, it's a wow. full production, yep. uh, but done for kids so that they can really enjoy the music. And that's also made possible by grants through Heartland Community Foundation. So. Exactly. Very good. Well, Kathy, thank you so much for joining us. We mm -hmm. sure appreciate it. We're going to be right back with your highest headlines after this. What a girl wants in her home kitchen. Ease of use, flexibility, fun, the latest kitchen design, Frigidaire Professional Real Stainless Steel for fewer finger smudges, a French door refrigerator, convection cooking, a quiet dishwasher. Have the staff at Genuine Appliance in Hayes demonstrate new Frigidaire Professional Appliances to find what you want. Genuine Appliance at 1224 East 27th in Hayes. Everything a girl wants. Hi. We're looking for insurance. Oh, let's see who's free. Jerry. When insurance agents work for only one company, Michael. their options are simply limited. Everybody. But a trusted choice independent agent is free to shop many companies for a better deal. Free to do what's right for you. Let us shop for you. Contact Rogers and Associate to learn more. Thank you for watching Hayes Headlines August issue and thanks to Kathy Drapkin for joining us in that earlier segment. I do have to do a shout out. First of all, Kathy bringing her on our set was is kudos to Joan Welbrock, a, a fellow symphony uh, orchestra member as well as my mother-in-law and so her and her husband Gene are big viewers of our show. I wonder why. Hi guys. But anyway, so thanks for them for letting us uh, bring Kathy on and, and celebrate the symphony. But the month of August, it's not just back to school, it's back to music time. It is packed there full is a of lot. music. Uh, first of all, I know we've mentioned it before, but we gotta keep bringing up Box Lunch on the Bricks because this is the last month to check that out in the pavilion. And we're not saying box, we're, we're saying, saying Box, B A C H S. Yes, it's a kind of a play on words because we do uh, we do serve lunch at the the event. You can pre-order those lunches or you can bring your own. We have lots of people doing both, but this is the last much month to catch those. They happen on the first, third, and fifth Thursdays of the month. So August second, sixteenth, and thirtieth this month. We have so many good acts this month. We've got a jazz duo. We've got your favorite local uh, vocal duets. We've got the Slattery Irish duo purposely eclectic so that every genre is heard and people can hear music that maybe they wouldn't normally go to but that is from noon to one on all of those days we're really excited um, the attendance just keeps growing and growing and we've got lunches provided by both the press and paisley pair this month so make sure you come down to the pavilion on those thursdays and the last one's free right the grand finale no the we are we already had our free concert that was in july False. <laughs> <laughs> but but it, wait for next year on we, that. We tried to do it in the middle to, to draw attention awesome. to make sure that the end of the season would be a, a even bigger turnout and to make people aware for next year because it has been a huge success and we obviously want to continue this summer music. It's awesome. Festival next you, year. you need to take a lunch. Yep. So many people work through lunch. You need to take a lunch. We took our whole CBB staff down there so we would know what it's like. And everybody had such a good time. And they said it was so relaxing. They said you're the best boss ever. Yeah, Thank they you did. so much. <laughs> I know. I heard about it. So get down to the pavilion in August. Yep. Um, also, downtown, uh, Aaron Watson is going to have a concert at the Fox. He is like Texas country. If you love like George Drake, Garth Brooks, I call it real country. No offense to anything that's on the radio now. Um, I think he's awesome. He is a cutie. I almost put his little picture on here to show you guys. Um, get on YouTube, listen to his songs. He's going to be at the Fox Saturday, August the 4th. Um, 17 bucks for general admission. That's a great, can't beat yeah, that for a concert. great price. And you don't have to drive an hour. He's right here. Good point. Also downtown, we're just going to keep going. The Fall Art Walk is coming up on Friday, August 24th, and there are so many people that are involved in that. Uh, I love the Fall Art Walk because it's, it's finally the starting to the cool off, mm -hmm. and everybody oh, comes out is. in droves. It's my favorite. 
Uh, Downtown Hayes has made a commitment to having some live music in the pavilion every month or every art walk every quarter. Uh, this one we forgot to mention with Kathy, Kathy is the Hayes Symphony Orchestra. We're going to have members from the symphony as well as Fort Hayes faculty and staff that will be playing for three hours that night in the oh. pavilion for free. So come out to that. That is their pre-season pops concert. Um, Kathy herself has a whole group of just cellists that will be playing for part of that night. So it's going to be really, really fun. So it's Friday, August 24th, Fall Artwork, All Art Wall. Good, I can't talk either. 6.30 <laughs> to 9.30, be there or be a square. <laughs> well, Keep going with downtown. I think you're on a roll. I know, Rockalua Music Festival, again, downtown Hayes. CVB, we, we get the pleasure of sponsoring this. This is the fifth year for this rock festival, and it is a head-banging, really loud, really fun festival that has in the past been indoors in bars like the Sip and Spin. This year it has gotten so big that they are moving it to Municipal Park. That's so, exciting. I mean, it's it's going to be a huge growth for the event. It's going to be a lot of fun. They're already doing a great job of marketing it, but that is Saturday, August 25th. Is there and a cost to go to that? There is, I believe, a cost to that. Um, I know there is to the after shows because they're, they're having the actual festival in the park and then there's an after show at the Fox. Um, which is why we are some of the sponsors. We want to make sure that it was affordable for you to get into the festival and specifically the Fox. But yes, there is a cost. They have a website. They have a Facebook page. Make sure you check out Rockalua Music Festival. And they have some really big bands coming in. Freak About, The Big News, Vehicles, Vadre, Prime Air, Strong Like Bull. I know a lot of these names are going to be familiar to those rockheads because <laughs> they are here all the time and they're, they're really, really good. So make sure you're checking well, that and out. The list goes on and on. It's, it's over 10 bands. It's over 20. 20 yeah. bands. They have okay. three, three different stages mm -hmm. um, set up. Yep. And it's amazing. food and, and art. And, and this cool really was just the dream of one person got yep. it started. So yep. it's amazing what some some entrepreneurial mm -hmm. spirit can yep. do. And it was over three nights to get all the bands in. This is the first year that it will just be a one day huge festival, hence the three stages. So it really is evolving and morphing and growing and it's gonna be a really great night. That's amazing. I mean, so. Well, well non-music stuff. Yeah. Two more events I want to call your attention to. If you happen to go down to the aquatic park last summer and saw it was overrun with rubber ducks. <laughs> That's actually an event put on by Big Brothers Big Sisters, their uh, duck derby. And it's a fundraiser for them. You can buy tickets uh, this month and yeah buy ducks and buy help ducks. support yep. Big Brothers Big Sisters. Right so it seems like they they split them up into about 2,500 ducks per heat and they race down the slide and around the lazy river uh, and then at the end they draw for I believe last year it was a car. Mm -hmm. Um, but a great, fun event to support a great community partner. In That's Hayes. not even my favorite part of the day. Do you know what my favorite part is? The cardboard boat race. Have oh. you seen this? I did not get to so see it last year. So businesses can sign up and build their own cardboard boat and race it down the deep end of the pool. I think it's the deep end. The deep end of the pool. And whoever gets there wins. But it, you, you pay to build this boat and then you have to race your boat and it's so much fun. Can you, know, you like blow nope. with a <laughs> straw or do you have to have like a rubber band propeller? You can going? do whatever you want. Interesting. It just has to float okay. and it has to move quickly okay. to win. Uh, I'm trying to think of who won last year. I think it was one of the contractors because they had all their plans and they worked really hard but That's you're awesome. seeing duct tape and cardboard and floating I mean, it's it's pretty awesome it takes an engineer an engineering level of expertise i'm not sure i have however i have been a proud sponsor of some of or groups i've been involved in that didn't want to participate yep. they can sponsor so yes. another if, group of kids or whomever can yep. participate so Absolutely. that's pretty neat well what's our last event to wrap up this segment one more race night out at rpm speedway the greatest show on dirt this one's going to be driver appreciation night um saturday august 25th so if the rocking out is not your speed it's just as loud over at the speedway <laughs> head over there and they'll play music too that's right <laughs> Um, but for there's always events jumping into our events calendar, so we've got some websites you can check. CBB keeps a great community events calendar at visithaze.com. If you want to know what's happening downtown, downtownhaze.com is the place to be. 
And for those people wanting to know chamber specific events, that's at discoverhaze.com. So thank you for being a part of this August edition of Hayes Headlines and good luck with everybody that's uh, having back to school opportunities or music or any of the opportunities that we had shared and thanks for watching. <laughs>